Hello there, welcome back to the new video. Today we'll be talking about how to integrate GPT-3 with your Google Sheets. And then we'll go around building a use case where we import Google reviews directly onto your Google Sheets and then running GPT-3 on each of those reviews to get the overall sentiment. So yeah, with that said, let's start off by opening the OpenAI Playground and get our keys first. So this is how the OpenAI Playground looks like. You need to go to view code, click on this hyperlink that says you can get your API keys here. You need to create a new key in case you don't remember the older one. So I click on this, I copy this and I have my key ready. So let me paste it somewhere. Cool. The next thing is I open my Google Sheets and this is where the magic happens. So one of the ways that we'll be talking about today is to use app script, which is what you can find by going to extension and then clicking on this icon over here where you can write your code to essentially do a post call to GPT-3 API and get the response. But before doing that, let's have our reviews in place and let's get this sheet populated. So let's go to Amazon first and get product reviews scraped out. So we'll click on, let's say, one of the product, which is this. It's one of the laptops that looks pretty sleek. So let's go to the last and see the review section of this. Yeah, so here I can see all the reviews. I click on this so that we are just focused on the review section of the entire page. And then there's a pagination that's available because at a time it shows, I think, 10 to 20 reviews at a time. So let's copy the URL and paste it in our sheet and name it as review page one. And since this was page one, let's add a suffix at the end, which is page number equal to one and also i might want to have more number of reviews per page so i'll do page size and let's say 20 reviews per page is what i want so this is page one where i get 20 reviews and let's say i just do a copy of this and i want a total of 60 reviews so this is page two this is page three and accordingly i'll edit the suffix section of this where i have mentioned page number parameter yeah so i have my Paid sources ready. So the next thing is to kind of go in these websites, get the reviews and populate maybe two to three columns where I talk about review title, review text, maybe the rating and who has given the review. This could be four things. So for getting the reviews and populating our Google Sheets over here, I found a quick way we can go and get an add-on for this. So click on extensions and add-ons and then get add-ons and search for the add-on import. So you'll see probably import from web this is what i'm talking about you click on this open its main page and click on install give all the permissions whatever are required and yep you have it there and this is the helper screen that opens up we don't need this so we click on cross and directly do equal to import and you can see the functionality has come up. Cool. So now let's define what do we exactly want from these links, what you have pasted. So these are the four things that I would be interested in. First is who has given the review, the title of the review, the body, which is the main text, and then the rating that the user has given. So now for populating all these four values, I'll use the functionality from the add-on, which is import from web. This requires two parameters. The first thing is the URL so which in my case is C2 to C4 so all these three URLs is what I want to give and then the output entities that I want so in this case it's from B9 to B9 cool so I think we're done we click on enter and the magic will happen we should be getting roughly around 60 reviews and yeah here they are so if you expand C, maybe we see, yeah, we see these are all the titles what the people have written and these are the people who have written it. And then similarly, these are the expanded version of the reviews and the rating that they have given. So with this functionality of import from web, we now have our reviews in place. We have a page where you're given a review page number. You can again go ahead and make it more fancier by just defining, let's say, you want a total of 100 reviews and you can do an iteration of this and have this also automatically generated because if you notice 
only the page number equal to one two three is what we are changing rest everything is same so that again can be automated so, but yeah we'll live with this for now so we have all of these things ready the next task is to kind of create a new column and say sentiment and this is where the power of gb3 comes into the play that will ideally go ahead and read each of these review bodies and get me the sentiment and populate this f column so for that to happen let's open app script so this is where we'll be writing a code for calling gpt3 via post request so let's clean all of this so while i was doing some background research i found a gist that has a code for doing the same that's from abhi so let's copy this first and then we'll go through this code line by line yep so this is the entire code so that will do the gp3 call for you so you need to enter the secret key so this is the same secret key that we talked about so we since had it saved i'll just copy it and paste it over there yep total number of tokens that we want to generate so since we are focusing on generating let's say just three tokens which is positive negative and neutral or maybe we would want to give it a structure of saying i want to generate it in a json format so 50 to 80 tokens should be enough so i just give 80 tokens to generate let's remove all these comments uh, yep this is the main function that calls gpt3 api that takes in three parameters one is the prompt which i'll talk about in a bit then temperature which the default setting is set to 0 0.04 sorry 0.4 so the higher the temperature towards one, the more randomness or the more creativity the mod would add while generating the output. The lower the number, the more deterministic the model would output the results. And then the largest model that's available in GPT-3. So we are using the completions API. We add all of this in the payload, add the secret key and call the fetch function with URL fetch application. So this is one of the class that offers fetch functionality and finally you get the output you just trim it off and return so yeah that's pretty straightforward so the changes that we would want to do for our use case is by modifying the categorize function so let's first change the name of the function and give it as get sentiment we don't need categories we'll directly put it in the prompts so we can delete this rules also i'm not sure if we need it Let's remove this for now. We'll write a prompt ourselves. So we can just have this variable as an empty string and we'll write it in a bit. We can remove the console and then we call the AI function with the prompt and rest will utilize all the default parameters for now. So we get the output in completions, which we do some bit of post processing and return it to our Excel cell. Cool, so let's write a prompt. So what we are saying to GPT is that I want to classify the sentiment of a given user sentence into positive, negative and a neutral category. I want you to also add reasoning with evidence from user sentence to what made you derive to that sentiment. The output should strictly be a valid pretty JSON and the JSON format looks like this. So my first sentence is, and this is the input that comes as an input to the function is what we append over here. And then we save it. And yeah, I think we are good to go. Let's move on to our Excel and fire this command from there. So this was our column that we want to populate. So we define get sentiment because that was the function that we had written in that app script. And the input to that was the string of the review, right? So it's D10. And we click enter. Oops. Okay. One second. So our function name is get sentiment. S E N T I M E N T. And what we're trying to import also is get sentiment. This is strange. Get sentiment and d 10 okay let me refresh this page maybe it might take a time to load this 
Okay, yeah, so something's happening. Let us first get the reviews and all these four columns again. So this is what we have. Now let's try to call get sentiment again. with d10 and I think it should work now loading data yep so that worked now let's stretch it to for a couple of more and this is the output that I was talking about so you get to see the actual sentence where it says very difficult to calibrate business sorry very difficult to calibrate brightness volume and everything the sentiment that the model found was negative and why did it say it as negative because the words like difficult and everything were correlating and were mentioned over here so yeah similarly for a second the audio quality is good gaming is smooth overall, overall good product i liked it overall sentiment is positive the reasoning that the model thought why is it's positive is because of the positive words that have been used like good like which indicate and so on and so forth as you go down and see it for yourself so yeah this was the application that i was talking about so what we did in this entire video was we created our own crawler using import from web directly into the excel that would get in profile names title review body and ratings for any of the amazon reviews across any product and then we integrated it with the app script where we call GPT-3 API with review body as the input with our custom prompt and we get the sentiment and the reasoning to why model thought it to be either positive, negative or neutral. And similarly, you can now think of n number of use cases around this. You can have another function that gets you the topic or the aspect that has been discussed in this review and maybe the sentiment around that. You might want to just extract keywords out of each reviews and tag it up and load it in Elasticsearch for later retrieving purposes. So yeah, all of these are the possible use cases. Now you can go about doing all of this directly in your Excel using GPT-3. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. My name is Prakram Mishra. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye and take care.